What's up ladies and gentlemen, Alex here from Loki Tech and today our friend sent us something rather exciting. The first Bluetooth speaker I'm ever going to review and it's from G Project called the G2. So let's open her up. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Open that shit. This package contains the Bluetooth speaker itself, which is a cylindrical device, a USB charging cable, and of course, the loser manual. I mean, user manual. Our volume controls, play, and Bluetooth sync button are all located on one end of the cylindrical tube. The tube is water resistant, meaning that you can take it in the shower, next to a pool, or in moist areas. However, you don't want to completely submerge it in water. A flap is located on the other side of the cylindrical tube, which provides a water resistance to the charging port, the audio in port, and even the line out or headphone jack. This speaker looks great. It's very portable, but I want to know, is the sound quality there and the build quality? So this speaker right here is a pretty sturdy build. You can, you can feel there's some weight to it. It also has a little clip, which um, allows you to clip this onto a backpack or something like that so you can walk around with it and listen to music while you're walking, which is pretty sweet. Um, one thing I feel obligated to say is uh, the adhesive on this isn't that great. So if you check this out, right here, my friend actually found this. It really just pops right up. And this is no big deal. I mean, really all you need is some super glue. It's, it's all superficial. It won't affect the function of this device at all or the sound quality, which I'm about to hop into, which is really good um, for especially something this small. I mean, look at this. This is like fits in my hand. It's, it's tiny. So we're going to do the sound quality test right now. What I got is my phone. I got this sunk up. It's a Bluetooth device. You literally turn it on, bang, and then sing it to your phone like any other device. I hope I don't have to walk you through that because I'm not. So we're going to hit this now. Chain smokers, max volume is the best way to see how much distortion. So I can't do that too long or else I'm going to get copyrighted. But uh, the limiting factor in this is your headphones. I have a professional mic here. And so this that picks up this perfectly, like as it would actually sound. So realize that what you're hearing is what you're getting. And that is a very good sounding speaker. It has bass, it has everything you'd actually want out of a Bluetooth speaker, and it's only 40 bucks, and it's mad small. So I'm a fan of this thing. So I was at the pool the other day with some buddies using this speaker right here. You know, I gotta test these products out. So uh, one of the cool things is that we were talking, chilling in the hot tub, six of us, mind you, and when I turned this max volume, we couldn't hear each other. Like we had to start talking really loud to actually hear each other. So this thing has the volume. I mean, it's a tank. It really goes up to a loud fucking volume for such a small speaker. So that's really what, what we're looking at here. I like it a lot. I'd recommend it. And, uh, and we're going to do a sound test at smaller, lower volume, because typically it sounds good or a little bit better when you're using it at a volume that you'd normally play it at. So we're going to do that now. I am adjusting the volume on my phone. You can adjust it here with the volume controls as well. They're independent of each other. So I just leave this on maximum because usually I have my phone to control the music and I can just, you know, boop, 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 you know, so. Yeah, I need you. So that's that. Hopefully I don't get a copyright strike.